Hello, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Undertale, of course, and welcome to some Battlefield 1 Viking style. EA contacted me just a couple of days ago and asked me if I couldn't make a beginner's tutorial for the tanks of Battlefield 1, and I said yes. The tanks are extremely important equipment to make sure your team is victorious. If you waste one single tank, that might be the difference between a win and a loss, so listen up. First of all, you need to select a tank. If there's no tank, you will not be able to click the icon, but as soon as there's a tank available and you click it, that tank is reserved for you. Then you pick between light tank, heavy tank, land ship, or artillery truck even, and then you can even click that and pick between three different kinds of loadouts, and then you hit deploy and you're off to kill your enemy. When you start playing Battlefield 1, you will only have the vanilla variants of the different tanks unlocked, so the light tank, the heavy tank, and the land ship. But the more you play, and the better you do, and the better teammate you are, you will earn more of the in-game currency called War Bonds. You can use these in-game currencies to buy upgrades for your tanks, such as the Flanker tank, the Flame tank, the Howitzer tank, or the Tank Hunter, and more. When you slayed your enemy and you earned your war bonds and you like to upgrade your tanks, you simply go into the customization tab next to the squads tab and buy whatever upgrade you like slash can afford. When you finally started unlocking some of these different tank types, you will be able to more easily tailor your own response and loadout to be able to counter whatever the enemy is doing or what kind of loadout they are using. Be mindful though, they can also quickly change after you change, but that's more of a thing you will get a feel for the longer you play the game, and that's what makes it fun. Most of these different loadouts will be quite self-explanatory, so you can just simply tell by the name what they're doing. For example, a tank hunter will be very good tank versus tank, the flamer tank very good versus infantry, but some things might not be so self-explanatory. For example, the Howitzer tank, which might sound on paper like something good to bombard houses with or infantry, but if you manage to hit enemy tanks square on the right on their armor, you will deal massive damage versus them. So if you're someone that are very good with their aim, you might be able to outshoot enemy tanks even easier with the Howitzer tank than you do with a tank hunter tank. The tanks have different kinds of equipment and and abilities. For example, you can put down a smoke screen so your friendlies can more easily advance. You can put down mines to easily kill off enemy tanks that try to come from behind, or even put down medipacks to heal up your injured teammates that are trying to advance behind you. One of the most important things is to keep your tank alive. It will take a long time until you can spawn with another tank, and in that time the enemy will have an upper hand on you and your team. So if your tank is taking massive amounts of damage, just simply fall back to where the enemy can't reach you, hold down X and wait, and the tank will repair itself. If you get hit whilst you are doing these repairs, it will be reset and you won't get any health back, so it is very important that you fall back to a safe location where you can't take any more damage. When you're fully repaired, you simply go up to the front line again and kill that enemy and win the battlefield for your team. Thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye. Hello, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Undergeal, of course, and welcome back to some more Battlefield 1 Viking style. Today we're taking a look at the three specialist classes you can only use by picking them up on the battlefield. First off, we have the Tank Hunter, which has this massive high-caliber sniper rifle that allows you to one-shot infantry, deal good damage versus planes and tanks, and deal massive damage versus lightly armored vehicles. Second off, we have the Flame Trooper, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can simply roast your enemies alive. And last, we have the Sentry, or as I like to call him, the Heavy, which is a very heavily armored unit that has pretty much three times the amount of health as any normal unit would, and a massive machine gun you go around hip-firing like a boss. 
So, how do you find these little gems on the battlefield? Uh, very easy, just keep your eyes peeled for these special boxes. Most of the time they will be empty, but when the weapon has respawned, you will even see it on your minimap or on your HUD as you get close enough. As a tank hunter, it's very important to remember, yes, your rifle is very powerful, but you are not. You have no extra health, no extra armor, so stay in the back and support your teammates by picking off lightly armored targets such as cars, artillery trucks, and also tanks, of course, which are your primary targets. There's two limitations to the tank hunter class. First of all, your rifle is very powerful, so it requires you to deploy the bipods to use it. Simply do that by lying on the ground, going prone, go up to a window or stand behind a big rock or a wall right click and aim for the enemy and the bipod will deploy automatically second one is the lack of ammunition don't waste your ammunition on infantry unless you absolutely have to or you have no other targets to fire at when playing as the heavy machine gunner you will quickly notice all that armor protecting you because you will take very little damage from the enemy's fire. However though, if they manage to get a couple of good shots onto you, make sure to fall back and recuperate that health you just lost. The heavy machine gunner gotta think about not overheating his gun, so take short breaks between every 40 rounds or so. Also remember the gun gets more accurate the longer you fire. The flamethrower unit is extremely powerful at close range, but lack any kind of meaningful impact at medium to long range. So make sure to not wander out in the open where the enemy can easily shoot you before you can even reach them with your flamethrower. Whilst inside, the enemy will burn alive, literally. It's a very powerful weapon and you don't have to worry about any gas either, since you always has a gas mask on. And remember, if you die, you can always try again, but it will take around two more minutes after you die until it spawns again. So don't waste your time or your team's time. As always, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.